everyone this is me Satya here and I'm doing your love reading this is going to be for the sign of Libra so uh, in this reading we are going to uh, step into the current energies of the person that you are dealing with how do they feel about you we are going to know about that then we're going to take the future cards future of the connection that you have with that one specific someone and then we are also going to take some messages coming from them to you as well um, we will also be adding some dirty messages from them plus we are also going to see the nature of the person as well we could tap into that as well so yeah while i shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it when it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are you know re resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings so let's dive into the reading let's find out how do they feel about you libras how do they feel about you devil page of pentacles page of cups the empress they do feel that um they are tied to you you both are tied to each other they know you know they have the sense of um attachment belonging with you there is this you know very mutual energy i feel like you know it's not one-sided at all your person whoever it is that you're dealing with they do feel attached to you already like you know they feel like you know the souls are already tied already attached is what i'm picking up they do feel that um they do feel like you know i feel like you know they do feel like texting you up they do feel like you know messaging you up at times but then they hold themselves back because uh they don't want to get too attached they don't want to get you know too expressive about the feelings here uh, maybe the the person that you are dealing with maybe they don't talk much maybe you don't talk much to them because uh uh it seems like you know i, I feel like you know there is like a mismatch there because either one of you is very emotional the other one is very practical one of you wants to take this connection uh, in a practical way. The other wants to have it in a, in a very romantic way. So I feel like, you know, there is the mismatch there between the two of you. And you really don't see how to accept each other the way you, bo you both are. So, but yes, the commitment, the sense of commitment is pretty much there. Whether you have said it or you're not. Uh, whether you ex accept it or you don't. It's, it's pretty much there, you know, you both feel mutually for each other, you both know that the connection is meant to happen, but yes, nobody is um, openly expressing about the feelings right now. I feel like, you know, they feel, they do see their wife, their husband in you, uh, they do see that there is a lot of love in this connection, but I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe for some reasons, maybe right now, um, there is not enough of us, you know, what we call it, respect in this connection right now, because it's, it's more of um you know, there is a raw energy about this connection. It can be in sexual way, it can be in other way as well, but there is something very raw in this connection between the two of you. So I feel like you know, it's very um, very uh, sexual too for the two of you right now. I feel like you know, there is that strong energy as well. But yes, I, I do see that um, whether you talk, whether you don't, but the connection stays the same. It's, it's that kind of energy. Let's see more cards here. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords. justice i feel like you know so, uh, they they um they feel like you know they they have a lot on their plate right now to work on to you know and they are you know finding themselves unavailable uh, unavailable to make a decision about this connection but ultimately the justice is going to be served and this connection with you um and you ultimately going to, like i said there is a, an ultimate you know uh, situation happening in this connection which is going to be the that you two are going to be com coming together whether you are in communication whether you are not whether you are talking, whether you are not, whether you are in detachment, separation with this person, whoever it is that you are dealing with, I feel like you know, eventually you're going to come together because the justice is going to be served and you both are destined to be getting married is what I'm picking up. Underneath the deck, we do have the Knight of Swords. I feel like, you know, there has been a lot said and done in this connection already. Um, be that, you know, from your end or from your person's end. But the connection is pretty much still the strong, uh, uh, still there, strong one. So uh, let's see what's going to be the future of this connection before I forget it. <laughs> let's see what's going to be the future of this connection. Even though I see that, you know, it's going to be uh, you two together. Uh, but let's find out what's going to be the future of this connection. Because I feel like, you know, they really feel like, you know, they have to make a just, uh, they have to do the justice in this connection. Um, and um, 
they do see that um I feel like it, they're really waiting on for you to reach out to them. That's what I'm picking up. They belong to you, uh, but they want you to make effort, make a decision, and then reach out to them. So let's see what's going to be the future of this connection that you have with your specific someone. The Emperor. Ooh. Husband and wife. Empress and the Emperor. Five of Swords. Ultimately, you both have to come together, leaving uh, whatever that was holding you back. Empress underneath the deck. Emperor. And empress so i feel like you know there there is this um you both know deep down you both are going to choose each other leaving the whatever it is that's that's keeping you apart right now um i feel like you know you do pick up a lot of fight you do uh you know uh, irritate each other a lot you do have uh, you know uh, maybe different sort of opinions but you both are destined to be together. You both are husband and wife already in, in the in the non-physical realm for sure. But um, yes, I do see things gonna, you know, ultimately the future of you two is being married to each other. And uh, no matter what the current circumstances are, that's gonna be the future. So if you if you get easy on this connection, whatever the circumstances are, if you get easy around this connection, the quicker this this you know final outcome is going to come between the two you know uh, is what you're gonna have um but if you resist if you get annoyed if you get um impatient if you if you feel like you know is it ever going to be us together and you ask these kind of questions to yourself it's just gonna slow down the process so let's see <clears throat> what else do we have Childish, non-serious, flirtatious, non-committal, indecisive, and unstable. That could be you or that could be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Let's see. I am my favorite. One is uh, one of you is very uh, self-loving kind of a person. Somebody who's very egoistic as well. Somebody who doesn't... Uh, want to lose the power somebody is very uh stubborn as well maybe or somebody is very you know like i said they value themselves more than anything else it can be you it can be them <clears throat> let's see dream big you know if we talk about the energy of the connection i feel like you really have to dream big um whatever the circumstances are currently maybe you feel like you know it's over maybe you feel like you know it can never happen but yes, dream big, everything can be, you know, and everything is possible. Aries and Gemini, maybe you are dealing with one of them. <clears throat> Create your own sunshine. Manifest this, creating your own, uh, you know, uh, reality. Just co-create it, whatever you want with this person, however quick you want it. You can make it happen by, you know, using law of attraction, thinking positive and doing things right. Do you love me the way I do? Maybe you both are very stubborn that way. You don't express love easy, easily. I look for you everywhere. For some of you, maybe you have left them in the past. They have left you in the past. And when you did, you always look for each other in other people, basically. I am all yours forever, till forever. You both are just trying to be together, by the way. Can we date again? Maybe for some of you, you are in detachment with this person. Let's see the dirty messages. Let's see what comes up. Okay. I love your body type. You are very sexually attractive. You turn me on like anything. I feel like you know, there is, like I said, there is a sexual connection that you feel for each other. That too is very strong. Rock kind of sex is what you used to have maybe. Or what you're going to be having in future as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.